Good morning. Welcome to Slim Chat. And um, if you are wondering why I'm laughing, I'm laughing at my own funny face. Not this one, but the one that I um, I pull at the end of my video as I'm pressing the stop button. So it, it does freeze frame on that funny face. <laughs> A few times I've, um, I've shown you guys the funny face, whether it was on Rock's chat or this one, I don't know, but I have done it. <laughs> oh dear. So, right, okay, let's move on. <coughs> I'm suffering by, um, absolutely uh, suffering today and last night. I had a full on asthma attack in the night. Well, I say in the night, I never got off to sleep because of it. And um, I ended up staying awake until about five, wheezing like um, <coughs> an old accordion. Um, or an old set of bagpipes, you know, um, took inhalers, had a nice warm drink, which sometimes helps, and um, just watched Downton Abbey. And um, sorry if you've heard all this on Crochet Rocks, but um, I'm starting to use my inhalers properly because I'm not very good at um, taking medications, and I'm always getting nagged by my asthma nurse. So, are you taking your inhaler? Um, no, I only use it when I need it. What about the preventer? No, not really. Well, you should, you know, and you need to take it all the time. And, and you know, they nag, nag, nag. So I thought, you know what? <clears throat> Maybe there's something in it. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> <clears throat> so I dragged them out from the darkest recesses of my drawer. Made sure they were in date. And I started taking them. So last night, this morning, I've been taking my preventer, which... Um, has helped you know what it has helped <clears throat> taking the inhalers it doesn't look like it's helped but it has because um i was sitting there like this when i was breathing out so it, i'm not anymore relatively quiet i feel a a kind of a tickle that makes me want to cough but you can't hear it so that's not so bad is it but um <clears throat> i am a bit sleep deprived i only get probably about five hours i'd say by the time I got off, but uh, yeah, not great, not great at all. So yesterday, what did we have for dinner? Oh yeah, I made uh, chicken thighs, took the skin off, and <coughs> <coughs> I did air fry chips, you know, like fries. And what I do is I make them into like nuggets. I'm having, a, I'm not having a good time with my tongue today. It's not really moving as well as I'd like, so I'm not speaking as clearly. And I think that's the tiredness and everything. Anyway, <clears throat> just excuse that for today um, or every day. <clears throat> every day that it happens, anyway. So um, yeah, I made air fried chips, and I was going to have beans because I like a bit of sauce. You know, when I have food like that, a little bit of moisture on the plate if you like but gary got no I'll just have it as it is and i thought i really want to do beans just for me so okay i'll have it as it is and gary got out the pickled onions and because he likes to make pickled onions and he's going to be making his soon but he, these were shop bought but they were sweet pickled onions and just recently some of my taste buds have been acting up again so he said you don't like these do you and I, actually yeah i do occasionally i don't mind the odd pickled onion but uh, I'm not a pickle fan, you know. I said, but I will have one. So he, he got one out for me. And I bit into it and it was fine until I breathed in. And that was it. Oh, my God. <clears throat> it was like um, napalm or something. <laughs> I just breathed in this vinegar and that was that was me done. So I was like, I'm not being any more of them. And I was talking like that <clears throat> for quite a while. And he said, well, you shouldn't have breathed in, really. <laughs> you know call me old-fashioned i'd die if i didn't so um yeah um <coughs> oh and another thing um i've got a nice um message from my um my friend steve um look he used to be my next door neighbor you know my gay friend steve that i've told you so much about in the past and um because he wants he's got a place in spain and he wanted to take me there and I said, oh, you know, can we do it in the new year? Because I've obviously got so much going on before Christmas. And plus, I really needed to heal more. And so he said, yeah, yeah, no problem. So we're going to do it in February. I said, we've got to avoid my birthday. Because really, I need to spend the Valentine's Day and my birthday, really, with, with Gary. 
So we said, okay, we go on the 17th then, because my birthday is the 16th. <laughs> That's really quite fast. <coughs> After, I'm a terrible flyer. I really hate flying. And Steve used to be a terrible flyer. Um, we were both a couple of complete and utter girls about it, you know. Oh, I can't fly. You know, panic, full on panic. But when he's got this place in Spain, he's so used to it now. He's really blase about flying. <clears throat> to him, it's like getting a bus. But for me, it's still like, oh, God, oh, God, I need to have a few drinks to get on that plane. So, anyway. Um, and then what did Gary do? He put me up a trip to America. So, that's a mega flight. But then again, I've got to wait till September for that. So, I've not really got to be nervous about it yet. But um, I've got a twitchy eye. It's driving me insane. And I really don't know why. But for the last three days, I keep getting this twitch that uh, and about this area here. And it is quite a big one. And um, <clears throat> first few times it happened, took me completely by surprise. I thought something had flown in my eye. Because it, it was almost like I could see it. And um, I thought it was like a, a moth or something. Um, and then I realised after about the third or fourth time, it's actually a twitch. So it's an allergy, obviously, and um, I don't know what it is. Maybe it's my hair where it's kind of getting in my eyes. I don't know, but whatever it is, probably is because obviously I went to a hairdresser's and <clears throat> I used to be allergic to some of the salon hair stuff. So it depends on what they use because I, I used to go to a salon that used a product called Kerastars and it is beautiful smells amazing and makes your hair feel like silk it's actually lovely but I was allergic to it and the only way I knew that was because when I first had my hair cut and it was shorter and it was blow dried and layered you know back in the 80s um I couldn't do it because I'd had long hair for so long and I, there was no YouTube that showed you how to do it so um you know I didn't know what I was doing so I used to go once a week, it was £3.50 to have your hair wash and blow dried. So um, I used to pop in every sort of five days or so when it needed it and um, get it done. Because my hair's quite normal in that sense, it lasts quite a while. Well, it used to, it's not so much now, but <clears throat> it does last a good five days before it needs washing. <coughs> so yeah, um, and then I, after a while I started watching the way they did it. And I learned how to do my own hair and so I started. But um, although the Kerastars was lovely, it started to affect my scalp in crazy ways. Like even when it was clean, it would part because I had a sore at that point in my scalp. So I used to, at that point, take my own shampoo and my own conditioner in and say, I'm sorry, I love yours, but I can't use it. So, and then once I thought, you know... I've seen them do this enough. I'm going to tackle it myself. I actually became quite good at blow drying my own hair. But, you know, back in the day when I first had short hair, I was dreadful at it. Absolutely dreadful. But yeah, I got quite adept. <laughs> and I started being able to cut hair at one point. I used to cut the boys, cut my friends. And she had a flat top. And I used to do that, you know, short, really short shaved sides, flat top. I was a bit of an experimenter back then. <laughs> Turn the hand to anything. Now it'd be like, oh no, I can't do that. You know, <clears throat> I'd mess it up. So, um, <clears throat> don't know what we're going to have for dinner today. I think um, I did buy some, not ready meals exactly, but stuff in Marks and Spencer's when we went that was free from. So probably have some, some of that. Um, I went a bit mad. I did have some ready meals. And um, some goujons, chicken goujons. They used to be really lovely. But for some reason, where my taste buds are, in a lot of respect, returning to normal now, um, chicken, which was the first thing I could tolerate, is no different. Still tastes exactly the same as it did before. But other meats, I've now returned to normal. So chicken is my least favourite meat. Which is weird, because it always was <clears throat> my favourite meat. But now, everything else has kind of returned in a way. Not everything. And I feel like there are times when it gets back to a little bit iffy. Because fruit, 
I was really getting good with fruit and now some of it's not not good again but maybe it's just the virus you know where I've been ill maybe it'll return to normal oh I hope so I'm sick of it all really it's really annoying you know um and I've got to book up a booster which I'm not I am dreading what the effects that might have on me <clears throat> anyway let's see what the pussycat's got to say about it all shall we where are we we're still when selflessly bring in i didn't take that one so we've done that one already uh the human equivalent of mousing is something called shopping <laughs> humans go out and hunt down tins and bags of food bring it back for consumption in the safety of their home i guess they think we're wussies not pussies <laughs> they're pussies we're wussies Let's tick the ones I've done because it gets confusing otherwise. So we're kind of a little over halfway through the book. It'd be a bit sad when it ends. I have to look for something else. Okay, so my movie quote of the day <laughs> was, <clears throat> it doesn't matter if you win or lose, it's what you do with your dancing shoes. And it was Grease. It's the word, it's the word. It was Grease. So it was Vince. And so Linda got that, Linda Fairbrother, Kim, Jane, Sylvia and Carol. Well done, well done, well done, well done. So this one, I've, I've used this quote, not this quote, but this movie, a lot to quote. But this is a rich pickings from this movie. This one is, what do you mean, look in the dog? <laughs> Trying to be all London, right? Okay. Not, not hard for me because I keep slipping up. And saying things in a rather common way. What do you mean, look in the dog? So what movie? You can even tell me who it was. And I think the actor plays an American in a well-known show. I think. I'm rather warm. Anyway, I'm going to get off and uh, upload this. And... Um, yeah, I don't know what else I've got to do today. I did have a giveaway that I had planned. So maybe I'll find that and do that and put that up later. So watch out for that. So if you haven't already, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell and you'll be informed when there are new videos. And um, if you want to watch my gems unboxings, they're over on Rocksteady. So please don't forget to subscribe to Rocksteady. There is a link to that channel in the description box. And over on Rocksteady, we don't only do those kind of unboxings we do all sorts of unboxings uh, scam alerts youtube help videos out and about videos loads of stuff that doesn't really belong anywhere else so thanks for watching stay safe take care and i'll see you soon bye for now bye